So hi everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're fine and you are enjoying this day at home, even if you you cannot go to school or we cannot go to school. So as we cannot go to school, we are going to do English lessons in distance and that's the way it's going to work. I'm going to send you videos and in these videos you're going to see me on that little square, sorry, a little bit, <laughs> on that little square and then on the rest of the screen you're going to see the exercise, the activities, anything that I want you to do with me, okay? So, first of all, we are going to do for today some activities on the uh, pupils book and on the activity book. So please take them. If you don't have them, it's fine. I'm going to do the activities with you. I mean, you can follow my uh, path with me because you're going to see everything I do here on the screen. But first of all, of course, before we start any lesson, can you tell me please what day is it today? And I'm going to write it here down for you. Yeah? So can you tell me the day? Is it today? So for me, that I'm recording this video, it's Monday, 30th March, oh, sorry, March 2020. Perfect. Let's make it bigger. So Monday, 30th, 2000, March 2020. Perfect. Yes, can you see that here? You have the day just on that side. That doesn't mean you are looking, you're watching this video on that same day, but it doesn't matter. I mean, you can do this activity during this whole week that goes after this Monday, 30 March 2020. Okay, maybe for you it's Tuesday, Wednesday, it doesn't matter actually because it's an activity about Easter. So please take your pupils book and go to page 108. Okay, can you see that? This number 108, Easter, yes? So, can you tell me the meaning of Easter? What's the meaning of Easter? So, six letters, quite tricky word to pronounce, Easter. Can you tell me what's the meaning? So, think about, if it's on festivities, so we have been doing, we, we did Halloween on November, we did Christmas on December, and now there is March, almost April actually, in two days we are going to start April. What's the meaning of Easter? It's another festivity, it's another special holiday we have. So look at this picture and try to guess the meaning of Easter. So we have eggs, we have lots of chocolates, we have bunnies, we have little like, cards or postcards to give to people. So that's right, yes, I'm sure you know the meaning of Easter. So first of all, let's look at some vocabulary, yeah? So we have the Easter Bunny. I've been doing that some minutes ago with second grade. So the Easter Bunny, that's a bunny, yes? I have here a little, a little, a little toy, that's an Easter Bunny, yes? Or, or what would be the same, an Easter Rabbit, see? So this Easter Bunny is carrying uh, Easter basket, the girl is carrying an Easter basket as well, and the boy too. So we have three Easter baskets. Yes, what you put in that case candies, honey, Easter eggs. Yes, so where you normally put some sweets or food to take with you. Okay, some objects as well. So lollipops is a kind of sweet, is a kind of candy. There is a stick with a uh, candy on the top and then some sweets, and then Easter eggs. That's maybe the most uh, traditional thing to do these days. Easter eggs, yes, they are normally uh, done with chocolate. So Easter eggs, yes, like the um, Kinder Egg, okay, but in that case, it's not, it doesn't necessarily to be Kinder, but it's chocolate egg, okay? So then an Easter basket, what we said, we have three, plenty, very nice, Easter basket, yes, and the boy, this boy called Mike, we have the names here, we have Mike, 
Anna in this bunny. So this boy called Mike is wearing an Easter bunny. Uh, not bonnet, bonnet. It's a type of uh, hat. So you can see it's very big and beautiful. Plenty of like uh, Easter decoration, Easter objects around. So cheeks, uh, some feathers. Remember the name of the, this part of the animal feathers. Yeah, so just little nice decoration. And Anna has this Easter bonnet too. Okay, so that's. Uh, some of the main vocabulary you should know about Easter. Yeah, so Easter bunny, lollipops, sweets, Easter eggs, Easter basket, Easter bonnet, and oh, sorry, I forgot one. Chicks, chicks are the babies. You already know that because you, you, um, we discover or we learn these words on the pets um, unit. Remember, unit four was. Chicks were the babies, or the are the babies of the chicken or the, the hen. Okay, perfect. So we have the vocabulary here. Let's listen to that very nice song we have here. Okay, let's see. Okay, follow the lyrics. Okay, I will sing with you. Before we jump to some exercise, I want you to look around the song and try to guess which or try to find some grammar we have been doing these last units. Can you find the grammar apart from the vocabulary? It's a basket, chocolates, lollipops. What else can you see? I can see some grammar we have been working at these last uh, units. Can you tell me where is it? Can you look for it? Couple of seconds, some, 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 some seconds. Yeah, so let's see if you guessed it. I will take that. So I can see that he's got, he's got again, he's got again. And then uh, the second part of the song says, I've got. Yeah, do you remember this grammar we did? He's got and I've got. It means you have got something, yes? Uh, he's got an Easter basket. He's holding or he's having an Easter basket. And then I've got me, I've got an Easter bonnet. Remember, the bonnet is the hat. Yeah, so he's got the personal singular for a boy. So he's talking about the boy. And I've got first personal. So me, I've got an Easter bonnet. So I guess that who is singing is Anna. Is it Anna, right? So he's, she's talking about Mike, so he's got and I've got. So now we are going to look at exercise three, okay? So try to read these sentences on exercise three and try to guess or to think about the, their, their answer, sorry. So some minutes. So did you look at the questions? Do you know the answers? Let's see. So first question, and you have to look at the picture, of course. Is Anna wearing an Easter bonnet? Is Anna wearing an Easter bonnet? 
So can you tell me the answer? Do you think so? Let's see. Is Anna wearing a Mr. Bonnet? Look at Anna. The answer would be yes, she is. Nice. Perfect. You're right. So, second question. What colors are the sweets? So, look around the picture. Let's see if you can find the sweets. They are on in one of the Easter baskets. Can you see them? Okay. So, which colors or what colors are the sweets? So, if you look at these sweets that the Easter bunny is holding, we can say the sweets are pink, green, and yellow. Perfect. Let me make this bigger so the answer it doesn't perfect. The sweets are pink, green, and yellow. Perfect. Third questions. Question what has Mike got? on his Easter bonnet. So on, remember, on his Easter bonnet. Not inside, but on, okay? So, and the grammar, what's the grammar now? He's got, he's got some, some feathers and Chick. Some feathers and chicks. I said some because we I didn't count them. If you count them, you can say the number. In that case will be it has got he has got sorry one, two, three, four, five feathers and three chicks. Okay, so if you prefer to say five feathers and let's do that then. He's got five feathers and we said Three chicks. Perfect. Next question. How many Easter cards are there? Oh, Easter card. That's a difficult one. They are on the table. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Right? So, how many Easter cards are there? There are five. Oh, sorry, five. No, six. We said six, teacher Maria. There are six Easter cards. Perfect. Six, right? Yeah, it's very nice Easter card. You can do some of them these days. Five. Who's wearing an Easter bonnet? Who's wearing an Easter bonnet? Remember the bonnet is a type of hat. Yeah, with Easter decorations. So who is wearing an Easter bonnet? Anna. For sure, and Mike, Anna, and Mike are wearing an Easter uh, two ends, not two. Oh, two ends. Okay, Anna and Mike are wearing an Easter bag. Perfect. Then six. How many Easter eggs are there? Oh, that's a lot of things to count. So, one, two, I'm looking at the Easter bunny um, bonnet, uh, Easter bunny basket, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will say seven eggs. These sweets that Anna is carrying are just chocolates, not eggs. I mean, they are not the shape. They do not have the shape of a neck. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven eggs. Perfect, there are seven Easter eggs. And then last question, what has the Easter bunny got in his Easter basket? Oh, lots of things. So the Easter bunny with capital letters the easter bunny has got let's see how many things lots of things has got sweets lollipops 
Eastern X, Easter X, and Honey, right? And Honey in his Easter basket. So that will be the correct and perfect answer to that okay the longest you can do the answer the best so the easter bunny has got sweet sweets lollipops easter eggs and honey in his easter basket perfect so these are the answers of these questions i hope you understand everything every each word every uh, sentence Yes, all the grammar we have been using. So I hope that if you don't understand something, you can just write to me and I will help you, okay, with that as better as I can. Perfect. So that's the activities from the pupils book. But let's jump to the activity book. Please take your activity book. Oh, why is that? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I know why, but don't worry. Take your activity book, okay, page 94, 94. So we are on page 94 on the activity book, okay? So we have here again, the word is to the title of the activities, okay? So we have here three exercises. Yes, with me on the screen, you're going to do just the first two. Number one and number two. As exercise three is just a um, purpose from the activity, uh, from the activity book, sorry, to do at home. Yeah, just an idea for an activity to do at home. So the first exercise, find and color, sorry, again, I did, is that's because I did um, some exercise with second grade before and then you have on the the exercise, the previous lines and previous results. So find and color, let's see. X. How many X can you count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven X. And they say we have to color them in brown. So please take your brown pencil. I'm going to check if I have brown here. That seems brown. Yeah, pretty. A little bit higher so i can color color it easier so brown is rex that's brown that's brown that's brown they're brown because they are from chocolate very very delicious chocolate yes brown and brown perfect so take your time i have color them just a little a little part of the egg and here on the computer is quite difficult to do it so you take your time with your colors just to i'm just helping you with the colors okay lollipops and i'm sure you know them because you're on third grade and the colors are quite easy for you now but just you're just reviewing so lollipops red let's see if you can count the lollipops i will count them before you so, do you know how many lollipops? Yes, that's right. Five. So, one, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. Super. Again, you can color them much, much more better than me. Baskets. Yellow. So, take the yellow color. Yellow. Baskets. So remember that's a basket. We have one basket, two baskets, three baskets, and four baskets. Perfect. Four yellow baskets. Bonnets. Green. Bonnet in green. So remember that's a bonnet. This type of hat with some decorations. One, two, and three. Yes, one, two, and three 
bonnet. I'm not, I'm not missing anything, right? Perfect. And then the last one, bunny orange. So then it's time to take your orange and color the bunny. Just one. Just we have just one bunny. Yeah, but we're going to color it very nice. Okay. So bunny color orange. Perfect. Of course, you have to color all the drawing, complete all the drawing, and you can even use different colors. Yes. For example, the basket are yellows. The basket are yellow. But you can color this little thing inside in a different color. Yes, just the general color is the one you have here. Great. Take your time to color it. You at home will color it at your own rhythm. Okay, but I need to jump to the next exercise. So count, sorry, and write. Oh, that's easy. We have already done that. So just Remember, refresh our minds. How many eggs did we do? Did we count before? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, is that right? Yes, seven. There are how many bonnets? Three. There are five or six lollipops. Do you remember? Count again then. One, two, three, four, five. There is one bunny. Look at that. Why do we change there are to there is? Can you tell me why? So we are using, we have been using there are, there are, and there are. But then, number four is there is. Why? Why is that? Can you tell me why? Yes, that's right, because that's singular. One bunny, we use the is, or more than one, of course, three, seven, five, any number you want, but more than one is there are. Perfect. There are again, how many baskets? We said four. Yes, perfect. Did you get that there are, there is? Do you remember that grammar? Yes, I'm sure you remember that. Perfect. There are seven eggs, there are three bonnets, there are five lollipops, there is one bunny, and there are four baskets. Great. And then the last exercise, I already told you, let me zoom it. I already told you, is that they are just giving you an idea to do at home. So make an Easter card. Yes, you can draw. Uh, a very nice, a very big egg, maybe a rabbit, and then color it and write happy is. You can even try to send it to someone that is not with you today, yes? So you can mail them this and, and send it with like a postcard. You can, it can be a real postcard, an Instacart, so they will receive it. And I'm very, very, very sure they will be very happy to receive an Easter card from you, yes? Overall, during these days, they, these days are being quite difficult for everyone. So if you do this very nice gesture to send a Easter card, they will be very pleased for sure, okay? So take your time to color and to check if you can understand, if you understand both two exercises, yes? And think about the possibility to do an Easter card to just enjoy some of these times you have at home and to send it to someone. Yeah, that will be very nice for me. So once you finish page 94 on the activity book, you can see that on the next page, on page 95, there is a page dedicated to something, a festivity, that is called April Fool's Day. So you can check on the pupils book what's the meaning of that because as you know we next Wednesday we are going to we are entering April. So it seems that the first day of April in some countries they celebrate a day plenty of jokes, yes, and tricks. So you can we're not going to do it together, but you can look at the pupils book some of the drawings you have, some of the vocabulary you have on it, and then you have a song and some 
jokes. Read the jokes and find the answer. So here you can try to find the answer to these jokes. Okay, I will try to record another video about these activities. But we before I we we end the lesson, we finish the lesson. Let's look a video about these festivities because uh, sincerely, it's the first time I listen about these festivities. I didn't actually know there was a day in April to make jokes and tricks. It's supposed to be the first day of April. That means this next Wednesday. So if you want to celebrate that day, you have to get ready with some jokes and tricks to make to your family. So let's watch video about it. Yes, let's see if I can do it. I will do it from here. Okay. So let's see what's this video about. What's going to explain us? Hello, I'm Nikki, and this is my cool school wiki. Today's report is all about flies. I love flies, especially eating them. April Fools! That's Simon, and I'm Nikki, and my wiki is all about pranks and the history of April Fool's Day. No flies? No, sorry, Simon, but thanks for playing along. Okay, I'm going to go find a fly. There's one. Bye. Okay. First, a definition. April Fool's Day is April 1st. A day characteristically marked by the playing of practical jokes, a.k.a. great jokes. No one's 100% sure where and when April Fool's Day started, but there are a lot of traditions and legends okay, from all bottom. over the world about people getting super silly this time of year. Can you see here at the bottom, Dia de los Santos Inocentes, that's the day we celebrate. I think it's on November, it's possible. Yeah, yeah, it could be. So that's the same idea, but on the first day of April. Some people think that April Fool's Day has been celebrated for hundreds of years, maybe even as far back as the Middle Ages. She's a witch! Get her! April Fool's, that's just my sister. <laughs> One of my favorite old-timey pranks is the fool's errand. That's when tricksters would send unsuspecting people out looking for something that wasn't real. Like in 1698, when people got tricked into going to the Tower of London to see the washing of the lions. We're here to see the lions get a bath. So, where are the lions? A fruitful. Not again. Today, April Fool's Day is celebrated in lots of different countries. In France, they call it April Fish or Poisson d'Avril. Kids take a picture of a fish on the back of their classmate, Ooh, and when they that. finally find it, family. everyone yells, Poisson d'Avril! I wonder if anyone has ever used a real fish. Now that would be a nasty prank. Yeah. Sometimes April Fool's Day jokes seem very real because of who's doing the pranking. When news shows and newspapers make April Fool's jokes, a lot of people get tricked. Some of my favorite April Fool's Day news stories are, in 1957, the news showed people picking spaghetti noodles from their spaghetti trees. Sorry, pasta lovers, spaghetti trees are not real. In 1965, the smell vision was introduced. That's a TV that releases smells while you watch. That would actually be kind of cool. Yeah. Too bad it's just a prank. Well, maybe not. In 2008, flying penguins were discovered. But it was a prank. Sorry, penguins. Not funny. And in 2010, for the first time, you could order canned unicorn meat. Guaranteed to be an excellent source of sparkles. Oh, poor unicorns. If you want to get in on the fun, but don't feel like planning an elaborate prank, you can always opt for practical joke basics, like a whoopee cushion, trick dog, and a classic big poo. Ew! I wonder what pranks should I pull this year at cool school? Or should I say full school? Hmm, for Drew, I could replace the magic ink in his pen ultimate with ketchup. 
This looks like a job for the stupendous stupendous. Oh, hey. <laughs> you want fries with that? April Fool's. And if I picked Miss Foxy, I would replace her storybook with the most boring wikis of all time. Today's story is the history of beans. Oh, that can't be right. Then I would fill all of Crafty Carol's glue bottles with glitter. Now, right next to you, apply your glue. Ah! Glitter explosion! Good thing for all of them, I'm way too nice to play any mischievous pranks. I'll probably just get Drew to help me switch Crafty Carol and Miss Booksy's glasses. Oh, pardon me. Excuse me. Ow. So how do you celebrate? So, you know that, okay? So if you want to make some jokes or some tracks to your, or some pranks, sorry, to your family, to your family, you can do them on Wednesday because it's April Fool's Day. And apart from that, if you want to do some English exercise, remember you have um, some information, some nice vocabulary and some nice song on page 110, 111 from the pupils book. And then, oh sorry, it was 100, oh no, 95, page 95 on the activity book. Okay, but that's depend on you. That's something that you can do if you want to do. Okay, so by now that's the end of the lesson. I really appreciate you were listening to me. I hope you had fun and you enjoy this English lesson, even on the distance, but you enjoy it. So I'm really missing you guys. I really am really looking forward to see you again at the school. But for the moment, pieces from my home and take care. Okay, bye bye.